Hey, what is up everyone? I hope all of you are doing great. And in today's question, we have a light rod of length L pivoted at its lower end on the ground, rotate in any direction. Okay, so this is connected at the lower end of the ground. And it can rotate in any direction, means it is uh, free to move in a hemispherical surface. The locus of this mass will be a hemisphere. So it is not only constrained to move in the vertical plane, but it can, so it can easily move over a hemispherical surface, right? So a particle of mass m is affixed at its upper end and the rod is held at an angle theta equals 37 degree, theta naught actually. Uh, now the particle is given a horizontal velocity u equals root 2 meter per second perpendicular to the rod. Okay, so now the particle is thrown perpendicular to the rod and in the horizontal direction. That means if you draw here, it should be a cross. The direction of velocity would be a cross. So what is the angle theta? Okay, at an instant in the subsequent motion when the rod exerts no force on the particle, what is the angle theta made by the rod with the vertical and what is that horizontal component of the velocity of the particle which is perpendicular to the rod? So lot of words has been used here. So we'll break the question into few parts. Acceleration is given as g equals 10 and length of the rod is 1 meter. Okay, so let us analyze the situation first. So this is the initial part. Uh, a u amount of velocity has been provided to the rod which is perpendicular to the rod. The direction of initial velocity is perpendicular to the rod and in the horizontal direction. So the arrow, the direction of velocity should be cross. Okay, now what happens, as I have said earlier, this mass is free to move over the surface of a sphere, hemisphere actually. This point, this hinged point would be the center of that sphere. So the particle goes into the plane of paper, goes over the surface, keeping this length constant. That means the distance between the mass and point O will remain constant. Some point of time, with the vertical, the length of the rod will make an angle theta. Of course, this is a three-dimensional figure. Try to imagine this one in a three-dimensional way. Okay, so this is the curved surface which the particle will or which the mass will follow, right? At some instant, the, with the vertical, uh, angle theta will be made and the direction of the velocity will be somewhere here, right? And this would be the horizontal component of the velocity, right? So horizontal means in parallel to this line, okay? So as you can see that this one and this one both are perpendicular to the rod because passing through this point there will be infinite number of tangents, right? So let us see how can we convert it into equations. So first is easy. First question is easy. What is the first one? to find out theta when there will be no force on the mass due to the rod. That means the required centripetal force will be provided by mg only. So mg cos theta equals mv square by L. Okay. And another one would be energy conservation. So decrease in kinetic, sorry, increase in kinetic energy would be equal to decrease in gravitational potential energy. Right. So mg L times cos theta naught minus cos theta. Okay, okay, so v square is this one. Using v square from here, we get, just replace it with this variable. Finally, we get the value of theta as cos inverse, this one. So just put the values, you will get theta naught equals, uh, sorry, theta equals 53 degree, right? So this one is the answer of our first part of the question. Now let's come to the second part. Second part, they have asked what will be the value of vh or the horizontal component of the velocity okay at this instant and this component should be per parallel to this line or uh, i mean parallel to this plane and perpendicular to the rod okay mm, so for that we will use angular momentum conservation with respect to the vertical axis so initial angular momentum with respect to this axis is m u m u times this perpendicular distance that is m u l sin theta naught okay and at this instant the angular momentum would be m v h okay now this v h is perpendicular to this line 
okay and this VH is also parallel to the plane okay where the bottom most point of the rod is connected so angular momentum at this instant would be m v h l sin theta so v h is this one horizontal component of the velocity is this one just put the values we have already got theta which is 53 sin 53 is 4 by 5 equating everything we get horizontal component of the velocity is 3 by 2 root 2 okay so i hope you all have found this video helpful and informative i know uh, i didn't upload for a long time uh, i was busy with something and uh, it, due to some personal reasons uh, don't worry i am totally fine and uh, the reasons are pretty much for my work i hope you all are fine and you all are studying properly and if you are new to this channel please do subscribe and keep supporting me let's aim for 1000 subscribers at the end of this month and i'll see you in the next one peace